This week on Sailor Stories, we're with Graham and Kelly on their Genu 44 DS. They sailed from the south coast of England to the Canary Islands and back to Portugal. So we are here with Kelly and Graham uh, from uh, Sailing Esperance. Yeah. And they just crossed, um, um, they just did the crossing from the Canary Islands and arrived here yesterday. How exciting was it? Yeah. <laughs> It had its moments. It had its moments, yeah. It was a, it was a tough passage, um, but we we had to we had to get back to Portugal uh, from there because obviously our plans changed a lot. Well, we we, before we go into there, what sort of boat is this? Uh, right, so this is a, a, a Geno forty four DS Dexaloon. Um, it was launched April twenty nineteen. Mm -hmm. uh, we bought from New in the UK. In the UK, and we we obviously brought it from the UK. Hopping down all the way down to the Algarve, uh, where we plan to stay for a short time, and then our plans change, which I'll tell you about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, having having arrived uh, in uh, the Algarve, uh, you've been here for quite a few months, haven't you? And then yeah. you decided you were going to set off across the Atlantic. So the first step was the two of you to sail down to the Canaries, which is around about four days. It is, yeah. It took us four and a half days in the end. Yeah, I think it was five hundred and eighty nautical miles. It was, yeah. Yeah, but we we had we had a good passage going down. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a good weather window. We went with friends, um, who are halfway across the Atlantic right now, <laughs> uh, Dave and Mary. Um, but yeah, the passage going down was good. The winds were were really stable, and the the sea state was good. Yeah, because uh, because it, it was the right time of year to go yeah. ish. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. And then while you were down there, your uh, plans changed. They did, yeah. Um, so we, we, we put everything in place to, to cross the Atlantic with our friends, Dave and Mary. Um, and obviously we had insurance to sort out, who, who stipulated that we needed crew on board, a minimum of two other people uh, exper with experience. We managed to get them to agree to allowing just three of us to do the passage mm -hmm. which was 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 difficult with the underwriters but they agreed in the end given our experience already yeah. and the experience that the crew member who we were going to take mm -hmm. paul in the uk um he was ex raf had sailing experience and and you know uh, they, they agreed to that anyway so <clears throat> we booked his flight to come out to lanzarote on the 31st of december yeah um and we also he booked his flight to get back from barbados after we'd done the crossing end of january yeah. organized the time off work everything else uh lockdown happened and then covid came yeah along. yeah couldn't get out we'd ordered charts for the caribbean to go to his house and flags and other bits that we needed for the boat uh, they're still in the uk mm -hmm. uh insurance wasn't playing ball for taking other people uh, and we decided we, we didn't want to take strangers, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, we can relate to that. I just, well, I, 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 I just wasn't comfortable taking people that are just knocking on the back of the boat. In there the was canaries. people there we could have talked, but yeah. in the end, we you, just, never know, uh, you never know. You never know who you're taking. It's a bit of a liability because you yeah. don't know what could happen. Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah, Kelly, right. Kelly brought the. the, the, the I, I didn't think of these things, but Kelly brought things like we've got to leave them on their own on watch yeah. while we're sleeping or. And do we trust them? And we know we can trust Paul. Yeah. yeah. And I wasn't easy with it at all. Just and you are responsible for the persons on board. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And then if they decide, you know, suicide or something, and then you yeah. are responsible You're for responsible, that person. Yeah. And what I happens if they take drugs that. on board with them? Yes. 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 Kelly said I that. Said yeah. what about if you the, just don't know. Yeah. They're a wanted yeah. felon or something. Yeah. yeah. You could yeah. be yeah. taking a fugitive yeah. across yeah. it like you didn't know. Yeah. It's a lot of problems. Yeah. No, we wanted to take trusted crew, and then obviously Paul couldn't get there devastated you know waved our friends off uh, on the on the 5th of january oh, wow. we decided no that's <clears> it we're going back to come back to portugal where we've got residency and we can you can stay yeah. here for a bit longer stay yeah. for a bit longer so tell us about the journey when you kind of came back now so what happened it was all good uh, a bit, a bit of everything really wasn't it yeah initially we, we were looking at the the weather outing ourselves we've got a fairly good idea of of weather outing and, and weather systems and 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 it, it was it's not the dumb thing as you know to to transit from the canaries it's a long time again yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. in january is, is, is it can be dangerous as yeah. simple as that um and we decided that we weren't 
quite experienced enough with the weather to make it a safe passage. You use a uh, weather router so we, too. Yeah. Use Charlie. We use yeah, Charlie, myweatherouter.com. Yeah. Uh, he, he was fantastic. He got us here safe, basically. Yeah. And there was many a systems what he saw that we didn't see on Predict Wind or we didn't interpret, interpret it the we, correct way. Yeah. 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 He, he yeah. just knew stuff from his experience. He has more yeah. uh, technology yeah. to look about. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's what it is. Satellite imagery. Yeah. Uh, and he's studying the weather every day of the year. He's doing yeah. every day of the year. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a wise choice because. Uh, um, we've learned a lot, haven't we? From yeah, from what he was. The like, way yeah, he said. that's yeah. another thing. You learn how yeah. to interpret a Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, after we saw where he placed the boat with different waypoints and what the weather was actually doing, we realised ah. I know why he's doing this now. We wouldn't have, we'd have, we we wouldn't have done that. We wouldn't have thought of that. Yeah. But Another thing I like on him is what he takes in consideration because I get very seasick, so he tries to get yeah. the best route for... He, yeah, he, 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 did that, yeah. he, he did make it comfortable. I though. didn't want to be in the, the really high seas, like no. four metres, and so yeah. he kept us away from that yeah. and yeah. took us out so we came in after the, yeah. the bigger seas. We, so. we did experience a lot of three to four metre swells, but... He, he put us in in areas of the front that was passing through of um the the, the narrowest part narrowest part the safest part yeah. of the front um but he ha he actually turned us with the swell to actually roll in as it was with it. dissipated yeah so it wasn't on the beam and knock on us no, around. Fantastic. it just made it more comfortable it was an extra maybe 70 it was an extra, or, day, it was an extra day yeah at least mm -hmm. um but it just it made sure that well, we would have been. In well, you didn't state. do a, a standard straight line run no. line route, did you? No. You actually went north and then turned. That's right. and we, came went, in. we went north, actually north west. Uh, yeah. Sorry, northeast. Yeah. Uh, northwest. Northwest. Sorry. Northwest, yeah. yeah, we went out no, and then went northeast before turning west. Yeah. You know, to come back in east mm -hmm. into Portugal. Uh, so it was a, it was a strange way to get here. No, but we, we were watching your route and we were seeing what exactly what Charlie yeah. was doing. That's, that's, a yeah. that's, Charlie route. that's a Charlie route. That's a Charlie route, route. Yeah. yeah. Because it's uh, it's not what you would uh, kind of automatically imagine to do. Yeah. No, I, I saw in your yeah. Bermuda um, yeah. route, where, where, sorry, the Azores, yeah. Yeah. where you went up. All the way down. <laughs> yeah. But I could see up. the weather systems, what you were doing, yeah. and it was obviously making it a lot more comfortable than if you'd have just gone straight through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, exactly. it does, yeah. But is it? But the information on email that we're receiving daily, as you'll know, um, it was telling you exactly what you're gonna experience and yeah. what they're gonna happen. And I've got to be honest, it, it was, was spot on. It wasn't was it? pretty bang on with it, what even time on the time. It's gonna come. And, uh, it's oh, gonna be. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that, that was one of the things I found incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Is it was almost down to the hour. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it was, yeah. and we we were ready with the sail change, mm. um, sail patterns, yeah. reef down, yeah. and it, it was almost like. Good God, how, it's here, yeah. exactly what you said, yeah, yeah. and I was happy that with that. Happened to yeah. Us. Yeah. You're going to start getting fog when you arrive there, yeah. and it was just like that. It's wasn't really it? good, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think it's fantastic service. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I, I would definitely use him on a regular basis for sort of ocean crossings or, or unsafe. You know, yeah. Because it's only fifteen uh, euros a day. Yes. Yeah. And for what you get, it's fantastic it information. Is, yeah. It's far it more than yeah. you can interpret. I can interpret. Peace of mind. Yeah. Peace yeah. of mind is the biggest one that someone's looking over you. Yeah. And, and I actually sent him. A, I sent him a message. We had a slight change of weather, and I think it was an isolated squall that passed over us. Mm -hmm. Remember? Yeah. And we and, and the wind switched right round, but it, it stayed there for about two hours, and I was like, well, this is not quite exactly how he said it but he did say there would be mm. isolated squalls mm. I was unsure and I emailed him at three in the morning um, and I said you know I put on my email um, I, I'd assume, I assume you probably took to my bed right now and you'll read this in the morning but just to let you know that this has happened I've had to change course uh, 15 minutes later I had an email back of him well, tell it, it, tell uh, me exactly it, what yeah. him and his wife do night shifts yeah. when they've got boats at sea. Yeah, they, they, they sleep for two hours and so, then yeah, they swap minutes. over. So yeah. um, it's almost like a, a twenty-four hour watch. Yeah. Well worth it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well yeah. Worth it. yeah. Well, yeah. That's great. That's great because I know uh, that and we're here, we've recommended safe. him. And, uh, <laughs> we're here. We're safe, and the passage wasn't. Wasn't our best passage. So how we... many times did the two of you screw up? Who threw up the most? We actually <laughs> didn't get seasick. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, no, no. We, we have never. We, I have been seasick once, and that was on our passage down to the Canaries, which yeah. wasn't even a bad passage. No. And that's the only time I've ever been seasick. And Kelly's 
Never. Never. So she's hardcore. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not definitely. But you had a few big uh, waves over the top. We had, yeah, we had a couple of um, a couple of rogue waves. One wasn't as big as the first one. Mm. Uh, the first one was actually quite a calm sea. It was night time. Kelly was sat where you're sat, but she was actually leaning against the, yeah. the full enclosure. Oh. Yeah, not like that. <laughs> leaning against the full enclosure, and it was just a nice rolly swell, nothing going on. We're talking, and all of a sudden, that was it. I mean, a wave literally engulfed the boom, over the boom. Yeah, over the full. And you go like, what the hell was that? Well, Isn't it? it was a bit more than that. It was I, like, a bit more I than that. Up and like, <laughs> you know, yeah. and it, and it completely... Because the noise it made on all of this... And well, they hit the, the side top. of the hull. The whole boat moved. Uh -huh. um, uh, the, the enclosure took a, a really good brunt of it. Yeah. It comes clean over the boat, engulfed the boat. It was stripped, was coming down in streams uh, off the back, wasn't it? Well, first of all, I mean, I was, I did nothing but laugh my head off because it came underneath the enclosure and soaked <laughs> Kelly, and I was sat on this side, so I was nice and dry. <laughs> it was an experience. Our, it was our first real big rogue wave, if you like. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, we've had many yeah. a, a slaps or bangs yeah. but this one was yes. it was real yeah. <laughs> and it was in the dead of night so how did the two of you learn to sail uh kelly relatively new to it aren't you yeah um, really so uh, three four years ago no five five six years ago we started going out to my my auntie and uncle uh, live aboard in the caribbean and they invited us there um as a kid i, I spent many a year dinghy sailing topper sailing small boat sailing never progressed on to bigger yachts um and then after we started going out to visit them didn't we yeah we just loved it like mm. the whole lifestyle yeah. of living in the, on your boat in the caribbean it's nice, it's nice in the caribbean yeah <laughs> yeah so uh, it just says to green one day when we sat in the cockpit on the, your yeah. and those boat it says this could be our life. We can do this. And yeah, it's like, if well, we make it yeah, happen. Yeah, I suppose we could. So I literally just as soon as we got back, like booked some on the lessons. Courses, and, but yeah, we booked the course. We did the online. <laughs> we both did the day course, skipper. Yeah, we did our day uh, skipper. Theory and practical, yeah. and got the ICC yeah, and yeah. so on, and and yeah. and, and chartered. Um, did yeah. a couple of charters as well, like in Greece. Yeah, just to get experience of like commanding a boat completely yeah. ourselves. Yeah, and we were like, yes. Yeah, so this is really your big adventure. This is the beginning of your. This big is adventure. the yeah. We're three, we're three, three thousand four hundred miles into our you're adventure. Ready. And now yeah. you're scuppered. And now we're scuppered. <laughs> yeah, we're back, back, we're going backward. <laughs> Kelly said that. I can't believe we're going backward. <laughs> we're meant to be going trade winds all the way. Yeah. So, so we better explain that you sold the boat and uh, yeah. you're looking to buy. Just today. Tomorrow. Just today. Just yeah. today. Yeah. <laughs> we, it's, it, we 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 put her on the market. Um, a couple of months ago when we were in Portugal, when we were here, uh, and we did have some interest in an offer, uh, and then we, we we decided, no, I think we will keep the boat, mm -hmm. I think we can make it happen and, and enjoy it, beautiful boat, everything's great if you love sailing, uh, we, we, we live aboard permanently, and and I'd say I'd say if you're living aboard permanently and you've got as many toys as I've got, yeah, he you need toys. more space. Yeah. Like Pipe I have, I have diving everything. gear, yeah. mount, proper mountain bikes, yeah. uh, lots of kite surfing gear, boards, paddle boards. Uh, fishing's a big thing for me, a really big thing. But when we we're in Lanzarote and we decided it's not happening, we're going across this Atlantic. There's so many things are telling us that we can't go. Let's. Put it back on the market and head back to Portugal. Um, anyway, we arrived yesterday, as you know. <laughs> uh, and as of today, I believe we've got a sale. Mm. But you sold the boat not because you're quitting this life, it's just because no, you want to buy a catamaran. We, we've yeah. sold the boat not because we're quitting this because we love it so much mm. that we want to continue but be more yeah. comfortable. Mm -hmm. And we, we don't like marinas, mm -hmm. as you don't. Mm -hmm. um, hot sticky places and, and, and expensive you know yeah. we want to be at anchor all the time it's where we where I can fish off the back yeah. we can do kite surfing yeah. Kelly can paddle board yeah. and it's, it's the place to be yeah. you know just like Alvor or something yeah. and uh, and a catamaran ticks every box for that yeah. mm -hmm. and it's quite difficult on a monohull great if you want you, you're still planning on crossing the Atlantic to the Caribbean well, we've 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 got a parcel waiting for us in in Rubicon in Lanzarote really? that we mi we missed by a day, <laughs> yeah. and we've told oh, them to keep hold of it. Really. <laughs> so you have to go there to pick we, up the yeah. parcel. Well, on the bright side, we we've just spent. 
Christmas and New Year in the Canaries, which was nice. Yeah, the yeah. weather was beautiful. Red, red hot. Red hot, yeah. And then I spent my birthday at sea coming back. Yeah. <laughs> can't ask for more, really. Can in in yeah. five metre swells. <laughs> so. Well, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. Yeah, so no problem. Awesome.